Welcome to Biorad's Masterclass Series. This is a short video that will describe the probe mixing mul triplex multiplexing strategy. Probe mix triplex multiplexing is one of three easy multiplexing strategies that is used to expand the number of assays that can be added to a well when using DDPCR. Droplet digital PCR has many compelling advantages over other PCR methods. Easy multiplexing is one of these compelling features. Partitioning of the sample creates a unique situation where the assays do not have to compete for the PCR resources like a bulk solution multiplexing does. The more partitions, the more assays that can be multiplexed. Each droplet partition will have its own fluorescence, allowing for many more possible positive clusters to be identified clearly. Here is a 2D plot with three assay targets testing positive droplets that can be quantified with just two fluorescent channels. Finally, detecting the droplets after the PCR reaction is complete, otherwise referred to as endpoint detection, means that differences in efficiency caused by the multiplex will have no impact on the quantification of the sample. Here are three examples of DDPCR multiplexing strategies and how the clusters might appear on the plot. At the top is an amplitude multiplex with four assays on the bottom left, a probe mixing radial multiplex showing a fiveplex, and a probe mixing triplex with three assays is shown on the bottom right. More clusters can be added using these strategies for further multiplexing. Today, I'm going to explore the probe mixing triplex multiplexing strategy. For the other two methods, see the additional videos. Probe mixing triplex Multiplexing allows for three targets to be fully and robustly quantified. Here I am showing an example of our RT DDPCR SARS CoV 2 DDPCR kit that detects COVID 19 RNAs in a single well. The simplicity of probe mixing allowed us to create a single well DDPCR test very quickly. The EUA was granted in May of 2020. Along the, the y axis, Showing FAM fluorescence is the 100% FAM probe positive cluster for the N1 SARS CoV 2 target. Just next to this is an angle halfway between the Y axis for the FAM and the X axis for HEX fluorescence is the second positive cluster detecting N2 SARS CoV 2 target. This is created by adding 50% FAM and 50% HEX probe. Next, the third target of human RPP30 positives are a result of adding 100% hex probe. The analysis is simple when using QX Manager or Quantisoft Analysis Pro. After opening and selecting probe mixing triplex mode in the assay information box, you will add the name of the three targets and the die combination. Next, the software will provide a guide that will allow for easy clustering. Just follow the guide to label each cluster. Here's a bit more information about the SARS-CoV-2 DDPCR kit. The LOD achieved for this assay with two separate extraction methods was five copies per reaction. This assay was shown to have a high inclusivity and specificity. For up-to-date information on performance and availability, you can visit the BioRad website. In summary, easy and robust multiplexing is a compelling reason to use droplet digital PCR, thousands of partitions per sample prevents competition for PCR resources and allows for many fluorescent signatures in a single sample. Reading droplets at endpoint ensures that every assay on each sample will be quantified. For best results, building your triplex multiplex assay, we recommend visiting the Biorad Digital Assays website where you can design and purchase assays that have been designed specifically for DDPCR. For additional reading on multiplexing and other topics, look up the Droplet Digital PCR Applications Guide Bulletin 6407 and Bulletin 7204 for more information on multiplexing with Droplet Digital PCR. Up-to-date information on the DDPCR SARS-CoV-2 kit is also available on the Biorad.com website. Thank you for your time.